everybody welcome back to the channel I hope you all have a good week um, I know this is a bit late for me posting now when I normally do in midweek but it's been a lot on over the last couple of days I don't want to bore you with the details but uh, better late than never so again this week we haven't got a lot of AOS stuff to cover because Apocalypse is the new thing at the moment it's you know, it's going to be dragging on again this week now. Well, I don't know. Perhaps 40k is the biggest owner for them at the moment, and they just want to get as much as they can out of it. So, I thought I'd bore you all with another Legends in their own lunchtime. And this week, I will look at a newish model, and I know this doesn't normally fit the criteria of it's a HQ that you would probably take it smaller games but I really like the look of this model and I think it's kind of sexy and without further ado let's just get into it and the name I believe is called Shilesk it is the Vengeful Alliance as I like to call it uh, it's a named character and it's two models in one and it is absolutely frigging gorgeous you've got a very elegant looking pole dancing demonette on the top and you've got a, a very tough nut to crack underneath you've got it's got a bit of everything it's got a bit of elegance it's got a bit of grace it's got a bit of hitting power and i don't know whether it's me it looks dominating it looks like if you saw this on the battlefield you're gonna you're gonna stain your underwear probably if this thing was coming close to you. so i love this model and it's not small either it's you know it's quite big because considering he looks humanish he's a demon prince and you don't want you know tiny demon princes so yeah this is this is amazing so without further ado let's let's have a quick look at the war scroll Right then guys, first up, we've got the top of the war scroll, so we've got a movement date, 9 wounds, 4 plus save, 10 bravery. So, he's not a, a big beast with 10 plus wounds, but he's got more than enough to like throw himself into battle and, you know, weigh down the opponent. Bravery 10, so he ain't going anywhere very quick, except into your front lines because of that movement. 4 plus save, uh, that's the, I would say that's the only downside really, but it's better than a 5 plus demon save, so you know, you, ca you can't grumble at that, that's a very good start, and I think considering he is around about the 200 points, let me just double check that, he is, yeah, he's 200 points, 200 points for a sturdy, a salty HQ, so, now that I've got, you know, I've got that out of the way, uh, we've got the Axe of Dom Domination, which is a melee attack, and we've got the Scourge and Whip, which is another melee attack. So, the Axe, we've got its 2 inch range, uh, 4 attacks, 4 plus to hit, 3 plus to wound, minus 2 to rend, d3 damage. And you've got on the Whip, is 2 inches, 8 attack, 3, 4, so it's the opposite to what the Axe is, minus 1 rend, 1 damage. So, think considering you've got the d3 as compared to the one the axe is probably got a more i don't know it's probably got to put a little bit more output into it it's you know it's the two wound a bit is the bit a bit that gets me on the whip i kind of prefer the axe because of the d3 damage bit and you've got the minus two to rend so if they are going to try and save it's going to be harder for them but personal opinion what do you guys think do you prefer the, the whip or do you prefer the axe you're going to have to let me know down below and then first look at his rules companion esque attacks with the axe of domination for rules purposes esque is, is treated the same manner as a mount 
So Shill is on the top, Esk is at the bottom, Esk is the the badass, you know, carrying it all, carrying his pole dancing demonette. So you know, he's he's no slouch like. Right, uh, are we gonna go now on to abilities? So two seconds, let me get that part up. Right then, guys. First up, now on his abilities, we've got Deadly Symbiosis. Each time this model attacks in the same combat phase, uh, it must alternate between attacking with his Axe of Dominion and then the Whip. Every time the model attacks in the same combat phase, you can reroll hits for the weapon being used. So, you know, you've got to alternate the attacks, um, but you, you can. You know, you can have axe wh first up and then the whip, or you can like soften them up with a whip and then take them with the axe. It's well, it's good because you can put them into a situation and then you can use each weapon for you know different purposes. Whether you want to like take out a multi wound first and then bit way down the, the chaff or go into the chaff take down some of the stragglers and then cut the head off the, of the dragon so it's up to you light and swift this unit can run and still charge later in the same turn so you know for it wouldn't be still mesh if they couldn't run if they couldn't run and charge so i like that last transfer over to the de the demon prince so you know he's not going to get left behind you know behind the demon head. And then we've got um, his command ability, which is called Regal Authority. In addition, you can use the command ability at the start of the battle shot phase if this model is your general and is on the battlefield. If you do so, until the end of that phase, you do not need to take battle shot tests for friendly chaos for the mesh units that are wholly within 18 inches of this model. That's quite a big range quite a big model so yeah if, you, if you've taken a bit of a beat in that time you could check down that uh, you can use that ability check down those command points and then this is amazing it is you know that's quite a good field you you didn't you could if you if you've spread your army out too wide it's not going to be helpful but if you manage your positioning this could keep a good chunk of your units in the fight so i like that that's really good and guys i have promise i'm re gonna do a slanesh list and I, I i'm working on it but i'm really torn between this and the mirror so it is coming up in the future i'm going to update that uh, making a slanesh list and i'm going to be doing updating the golden one and it's this kind of guy that makes it hard because you you want to put all the goodness in because he has got a lot of goodness in him and you know he's no slouch he's keeping up with your, your fast troops you know he's keeping them in the fight but you know my my girls with the mirror they you know uh, they're gonna like you know unbind spells so it you know you you can mix and match depending on you know your areas gaming style what the meta is really but I don't know I feel he's got a little bit more he's got a little bit more going for him than the mirror it's just I like the look of the mirror but I digress that's not what we're not debating you we're looking at a wall scroll so that's not all let's go on to the magic part right then guys we're we going on to the magic phase which um, we all know Arcane Bolt and Mystic Shield. Um, we all know that he can attempt to cast one spell in the hero phase and then an attempt to unbind one enemy spell. So, you know, he's, he's a nice addition to, it, to your army, no matter what horse you want to take. But the thing I like as well is not only is he charging into your lines and he's going to hurt your line, he can hurt your captain as well so he can upset your game plan and he does that with 
with a magic spell called Subvert. Subvert is a casting value of 7. If successfully cast, you can pick one enemy enemy hero within 18 inches of the caster that is visible to them. Hero cannot use any command abilities until the next hero phase. So you can get him to charge up to your big heroes that you know is going to be very useful. Like you know, we all know our stone cast, we all know the you know fire slayers, we all know Skaven. You can just charge up. You can really nullify the uh, well. I see. I see Skaven, warlord in the back, but the chap at the front. Um, you can really nullify the the buffs that they're gonna get on their next phase. So. If they've taken a hit, no thinking that they are gonna, you know, come back, buff up your the unit and then hit harder. If you if you've done this successfully, you've nullified that. You've subverted their expectations on that game. You you've stopped their battle plan basically, and they've got to try and rally quickly to sort out something new. I like it, and like I said, this guy is an absolute legend. He's an absolute hero. I put this guy up with the Loon King. He's that much of a legend. I absolutely, well, I think he's a, an amazing model. Crazy rules as well for his crew and 200 points. It's not that bad. It's really not that bad considering you got a two for one. You know, it's it's really good. Even if you said like, oh, if I took uh, the guy. You say that was one twenty, or if you could just say I want to take the demon, the demon head, that's eight. That's eighty. So, you know, you you getting your money's worth by there. If you want to split it up, I know you can't in game, but I'm just saying, for, you know, trying to be pedantic, right? But he is a unit. He is, you know, he's gonna charge at your line. He's got no fear that he's not gonna wipe out your unit. And if he's got demon heads backing him up, God help him. So, like I said, absolute legend. He is by far one of the best, I think. And especially for 200 points, he well, you've got you've got to take him really. Oh, I don't know what much more to say, except what do you guys think? Do you actually like his model? Do you think I'm looking too much into it because it's a bubble that we're looking at it in is it something you wouldn't use and why you wouldn't use it or do you prefer another model over it let me know right then lads and lasses that's the end of the video thank you for bearing with me on this one just wanted to go over another amazing model that's in the aos range and like i said do you agree with me do you absolutely love this model like I do and when the Slaanesh uh, army is being built would you include this or like I said do you prefer another model do you see that has more use because I see this guy as a utility as a utility unit perhaps others wouldn't so uh, let me know and I just want to say thank you again for watching the video thank you again for watching all my videos it means so much to me and Griff and Barry and that when you watch. Uh, we are slowly getting names in for the upcoming um, Blood Bowl League that we're doing. So you will be seeing more of that in September once we sort it out. I will be rocking the Halflings. And I believe Griff could be... He's, well, he's stuck between his Goblins and his Wood Elves, I believe. But... That's neither here nor there. You will find out more about that in the weeks to come. Um, the, show, the show has a PayPal uh, account, so the link is down below. Uh, you can follow us on Instagram, you can follow us on Twitter. We're not on Facebook yet because I'm still arguing with the Zuckerberg because he's a tosser. Because for some reason his bots have said to my said to me, I'm I'm a bot and don't believe me that I'm not. But hey oh can't win them all um like i said we've got a link down below and yeah we got a teespring account so head on over to teespring uh and you should be able to find our storefront there so we have some new boy and yeah that's it thank you for thank you for staying with me um 
please comment like and subscribe and I shall see you in the next video enjoy everybody